Hello, ladies, gents, and passive witnesses of my descent into madness. We return to my monomania. That is getting that 100% run of the cosmic ocean. You know, 799 and all that. All, all those things that we keep doing. Uh, oh, my bad, Vigo. You, you can withstand one punch to the face, right? You're not some kind of wimp. Yep. There you go. I had to uh, gather a little bit of uh, speed going on down, down to that area. There's five thousand dollars there. I will grab it. It's all right. I'm sorry. You're great. You're going to make it, Vigo. You did not make it. <laughs> Poor little cat could not make it to the exit that I consider very much. You get that? I consider very much editing him into actual Vigo. My gray blob of a fat cat that I used to have. Wow, what a store. <laughs> great, great job, fella. Good luck. You're going to go broke in about five seconds. Or rather, five years of you just standing there doing absolutely nothing. I want to murder you. I have gone into the habit of murdering uh, Antonio Banderas. Well, I am glad that I whipped one thing and then got punished by it. Stupid freaking mole. Absolutely hate it. Wait, let's go back. Let's go back. I have jumped through too many topics already. This monomania that has taken hold of my brain. Huh? It's definitely detrimental. <laughs> like it's not a good it's not a good thing. Oh man, this freaking scorpion over there. What you got? Huh, I guess Late is better than never. My bad. All right. Well, I guess I am not. I am not keeping that shotgun. Ah, huh? ah. Huh? I want the key. He, he. There you go. <laughs> so, oh great. That's a little bit of work. We made the key work. Actually, well, now I need to go back for that mat talk, don't I? Or I can just leave instead of having. To do all this work? I don't trust you. Oh, I'm glad I took a little bit of time. Alright, at least we got this nonsense. It will give me some cash, I suppose. What is this? What is this absolute garbage <laughs> of a level? This monomania of getting that $7.99 to the exclusion of all else. I wish I could get rid of it. Like, it's not... It's not my choice. This is not my choice. I'm being controlled by the voices inside my head that just do not let me. I am not allowed. I am not allowed to do anything else other than... Why? Why? Why did you just do that? I don't know. I am not allowed to do anything else until I get this accomplished. And believe me, I have a lot of things that I want to do after that. You may know I agree with the plan that I have concocted in my head after getting that 799. And that's okay. I appreciate you for coming with me on this most humiliating of journeys. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have a fiery whip. I can actually kill this boy with whips to the face. Can I whip it as it rolls? As in, am I capable of whipping it as it rolls? Or will I just get instantly murdered? Oh, gotcha, bitch! <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of gamer pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I thought he was about to die. It's all right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to go back and find the, the most wonderful little shopkeeper store. That I was just me fooling around in Spelunky 2. But now it's all serious business. All serious business. I was looking at my Steam most played games by game time. You know, by hours played. Let's grab this and go. And I was actually pretty surprised about some of them. Ow. I was pretty surprised about some of the games in there that are the, on the... Ooh most hours played 
the you see that incredible ricocheting key throw. That was amazing. Ooh. Well, sir, you have you have uh, played me to a checkmate. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to stop you from preventing me. I, mean, I could, I could do something like this, and then we'll figure something out on the way out. Don't worry about it. Like so. Oh, I can't be stopped. I'm the most incredible thief of all time. Ah, uh, you got a shop full of creatures that I don't care about. Grab the turkey, why not? Please give me ropes so I can bring uh, my count back to normal. Every time, every time, you just ride a turkey. It always ends in tears. That's why I never do it, because it always ends in tears. I'm going to grab all of these meat. I was a little surprised about some of the, my hours played on some of the games that I have played. There is the obvious offenders. Of course, Spelunky HD is at the top. Although, it's not really at the top. You know what's at the top with that question? War of Warcraft is at the top, bar none. Splunky HD, I ended up with a little over a thousand hours. Oh, he did. He did. Uh, a little over a thousand, a thousand hours on Splunky HD. Many of those, at least 200 of those, were in the level editor. Because he had to open Splunky to be able to use the editor. So, uh, gameplay-wise, probably closer to 200 hours. I mean, two to 800 hours on Splunky HD. World of Warcraft, there's no question in my mind. There's at least... A minimum of 3,000 hours on World of Warcraft is by and large the highest count of hours played by a freaking factor of three. I mean, there's a free dog. There's uh, somebody that comes around to your house with a free dog. They've foisted up on your arms. You got to pick up that dog and give it a loving home. It's what you must do. I didn't give it a loving home. Because I am stranded in the middle of this horrendous dungeon of despair. But I did the next best thing, which is chuck it down a hole. And now that I have chucked a dog down a hole, I will put a hamster into a sacrificial altar. My pet having record is not the most exemplary, but hopefully you can forgive it. Nice, we got a key that I, means that I don't have to work at anything. I can just go into this cell, liberate the idiot. Not even sure if I want to get the alien compass, but, you know, keeping those options open. Do I want to rely on the Vlad skip, even though I am extremely unreliable at such an endeavor? The eternal question. There may be more sacrificial flesh over here. War of Warcraft, man. Sucked up so much. I mean, I don't... There is a little bit of regret of the time that I spent in World of Warcraft. There was a lot of time wasted that I could have spent in a different way. Oh, well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> it's definitely unfortunate. There could have been a jetpack over here. Should have maybe checked. What? Well, should have maybe checked. That would have been helpful. Toward my goals. What's the worst that can happen if I put a damsel in that out there? I am sure. I keep saying damsel. One of these days, I'll start saying pet. But pet? Or animal? It just sounds terrible. I would much rather imply that I'm sacrificing a human being. It's the same old thing of... Of course we sympathize more with the suffering of animals. Animals never deserved. Never do anything to deserve suffering. They don't have the mental capacity to be malevolent. As opposed to humans where, you know, a lot of them, the human suffering is not deserved. But they did. They must have done something in their lives to justify some suffering, right? <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about. I need to elaborate on that. But don't know. What, what, what do you guys call the... The pets to, for sacrificial purposes. Just pets? Animals? Still stuck in with... Uh, stuck with damsels like uh, I am? 
I don't know. What is the, the proper terminology here? Oh. I hate... Yeah, let's just go back to the World of Warcraft conversation. I do have a little bit of regret at the l l amount of time that I spent in World of Warcraft. But without a question, it also contains a lot of very good memories. And not just very good... Very good memories, but like significant memories that I would rather not do without. All that, uh, all the struggle. I think the gamer struggles. Nice. The gamer struggles are the ones that I am most fond about. Just bashing my head. Okay. You, you have disappointed me, Mr. Van Horsing. You have disappointed me a great deal. I mean, obviously, it was my own incompetence. There you go. By not having... Like, I think I triggered him too early or whatever. I don't exactly know what... I, oh, yeah, yeah. I went a little too high, so he flew in a different direction. That's what happened there. So he didn't fly, fly in the usual direction. Okay, I've been screwed by trying to get the vampire engine going far too many times. So instead, let's just get four of these idiots. And keep them alive. For, you know, purposes. Which can be extremely varied. varied. Let's just say diverse. Diverse purposes. Varied? I think varied. I always say varied. It's like varied. Varied purposes. That's how you pronounce that. Let's get out of here. The game is struggles of tanking pickup groups. That's what I would... I, I loved to do. Go into the... Into towns in Outland back in the Burning Crusade. The first expansion for War of Warcraft. That's when I started playing the game. I didn't play vanilla. Started on, on the Verdant Crusade expansion. Um, that. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Please desist on your hostile efforts, Ratface. We're all friends here. I would go into towns and just pick up a group and try to make it work. And that's how you did back then. When you didn't have... Uh, circle of friends to play with for the longest time and this is something that you can't really do very well on anymore but for the longest time i was just an independent contractor and i loved it i loved to just play by myself no guild affiliation and just being a tank for hire i was a big fat bear butt and i would go and pick up groups i knew Every dungeon inside out. I mean, obviously, I, I learned every dungeon inside out and then I knew them. I would mark all the creatures with extreme efficiency. Ratface is now dead. And it kind of fills me with joy. Not so much getting fired in the face like that. That was very rude. So that piece of garbage actually jumped to... What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? Idiotic shopkeeper piece of trash. Okay, fellas. Do not alert the shopkeeper. Forgiven. Nice. He actually did not die. Stop. That is my bow. That is my bow, you absolute buffoon. All right. <laughs> now, remain where you're at. Ah, ah, don't, no lava, no lava, no lava, no lava. <laughs> All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use you fellows. You're going to feed my bloodthirst a little bit. Okay? Like, I apologize that this is very painful for you guys but I am obviously too damn stupid to play this game properly we have two more bodies it's good it's good we're going to be fine we're going to be okay I was a tank for hire I would put groups together basically teach them the, the dungeons it was it was a great time and uh, I ended up in a guild just because the pickup group, like I would be like a tank for hire for raids in Karazhan. 
And, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to brag, I'm just telling you how it was. They begged me for the longest time, they begged me, join the guild, you can run with us all the time after I had done a bunch of ru uh, runs with them. And I finally caved in, went into a, a more structured uh, rating experience. And that's how I became like a hard, quote unquote, hardcore raider in the Burning Crusade. There you go. No, you absolute moron! Why you, you, just for that, you become sacrificial flesh. I was going to keep you alive. Just for trying to sabotage my efforts, you get that fate. Idiot! There's a idol, uh, you know, it's something I would appreciate. A path to the exit. <laughs> this is not a path to the exit. And this is also not a path to the exit. Surely, a path to the exit exists, right? I only have uh, a few seconds to go. Cannot believe this is all a dead end. That entire side of the level is just one massive dead end. Seems to me that the level generation got slightly borked. Fascinating. Like, that hardly ever happens. Fascinating. Amazing. Again, not trying to brag. But obviously, feeling pretty proud of my gamer cred. But that is my my uh, hardcore War Warcraft story, and I like that that memory. You know, I don't regret those times. Forging a name for myself as a mercenary, pretty much to the point that uh, I became a nice, a very valuable part of a team that really wanted me to be part of it. It's like that's something that builds your your pride not just in a video game just in real life i like i dedicated myself to being good at something and i got socially rewarded for it it was pretty neat so that's when i started the the big oh, i have lots of bombs why not do the skip why not do the skip poor bomb but i don't really care um so started, you know, scheduling raids and being sure to always be there and all that stuff. And then it's just the usual hardcore raider story and there was nothing other than that. But even then, it was just uncomfortable. <laughs> the main reason the, I had this entire mercenary thing is because I have always hated or rather felt very uncomfortable just talking to people on the internet. This is something that I had, I have a good 200 hours of Left 4 Dead 1. And that was at the time before microphones were a thing that people had, or, you know, by default on the internet. And I loved that. I loved playing Left 4 Dead 1 with the basic communication tools and being good at it with, uh, with that limitation. I really like that. Let's do something like this. I really liked it. When people started demanding that you put on a microphone and all that, I got turned off so hard. Uh, yeah, just give me a game that just has some limited built-in communication tools that you can just uh, parrot the lines with the characters. We're not going to the temple. Uh, that's been my, my policy lately. It's like, if I don't have a jetpack, I don't go to the temple. The alien compass only ha only happens when the jetpack is in my back, which is extremely rare, because uh, without the black market happening, the only chance you're gonna get a jetpack. Wow, freaking hermit crab convention over here! Seems like the loins of my my long departed girlfriend. Did you just crush my thing? You sure did. You absolute piece of trash. Good poison, Gronk. Stop it! <laughs> That's extremely aggressive of you. Stop it! Stop being a hyperactive chipmunk! Holy crap! Anyway. I played a ton of Left 4 Dead. Until people started 
demanding that I speak. <laughs> and I was always a pretty damn great member of the team. I knew the game inside out. So it was like I never needed to speak. I didn't get in situations where I needed to speak. And the, the inside the game tools for communication were functional enough. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'll pass on that. Um, we got some spring shoes out of that whole thing. That's pretty good. Let me get the gronks to sleep once more. Back to sleep, fools. Um, I mean, yeah, of course it was suboptimal. But I always felt just, just wrong to talk into the void of strangers. It's not the same, like, talking to Xanagir on Discord... Of course, my social anxiety, like, the baseline social anxiety is still there. But it's completely different. Like, it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. After a, a few minutes, I'm already comfortable and we're just shooting the shit. No problem. Like, I don't have the that constant uncomfortable feeling that I get talking to strangers in a, in a freaking uh, Left 4 Dead lobby. It's, like, super unpleasant. For me, so I just don't want to do it. It just feels weird to talk into the computer to people I don't know. And I believe this is almost 100% just a personal hang-up of mine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just my brain being stupid as usual. But it's there, and I, I, don't, feel, I don't like it. So I don't do it. Um, okay, fellas. We're going to... Oh, this is a very good spot. No, it's not. Ah, oh, that's annoying. He's going to get mad if I put a bomb here. He, this is a, such a great spot to leave these idiots. Kind of maybe find a different spot. Maybe blow up. No, it will destroy. Maybe this. Nah, that's not going to do it. I wanted to destroy this totem over here. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. Die. Die a lot. What a great spot over there. Of course, we need to go grab the sword. I don't know why. Like, there's no reason to be so finicky. This is not the time where you care about keeping them alive. They'll stay alive. It's the next level that you need to really worry about it. Don't, don't grab it. The glove it! Stop moving! <laughs> Stop moving! I beg you! Stop moving! Holy crap! It is so infuriating when they get into this loop of not, not staying still. Ah, oh, that drove me nuts just now. Anyway, anyway. So yeah, I got that hang up. So never could get into the other Left 4 Dead, all that stuff, uh, the Left 4 Dead 2, because I just can't enjoy myself. Where are you, Gronk? Talking to strangers on the internet. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. So though, like, even when raiding, you know, it was a big group of 25 people, so also felt super weird communicating with them. But you, know, you just got over it. I got over it for War Warcraft. Should have probably checked out the present box. Uh, this is maybe doable. Show me a good spot. Show me a good st spot to. You absolute buffoon. You absolute buffoon! Maybe in here I can trap him. Is this all the way open to the exit? Whoa, look at this shit. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, this is like completely open, huh? Like the whole thing is a one huge cave. What the hell? What the freaking hell? Yep. <sighs> Drunk. Yep, that, that just happened. 
They're going to split. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're hoping to get a... Hoping to get a skip. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at now. Man, that is so infuriating, man. And I should have paid attention, right? I would have seen that. Jar? Woo. Uh, that jar was visible. Don't let me blame anybody but myself. Did I place the bomb though? I don't remember. I don't know how that explosion happened. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, okay, that's what happened. I placed down the bomb. Wow, I almost got impaled. Placed down the bomb. To, um... Ulu. To get the bombs. And that blew up the jar. That I actually did not see. I believe that's how I went down. So, pretty dastardly trap. It's what I fell into a spelunky trap. Of, of course you should have checked the other side of the level. Of course you should have checked the other side of the level. Just in case the ghost jar was there. And then it completely destroyed your prospects of doing anything at all. How could you not check the other side of the level where you randomly place one bomb to get the, the bomb box? I can't believe you didn't do that. I'm a big fan of getting more ropes for basically nothing. It's a lot of explosions happening. All right. Hoopla. Give me those ropes. They belong to me now. Pleases me greatly. It's just annoying. I've always had to deal with that social anxiety. Something I've told you many times before. Just this deep discomfort. Uh, there's also very much tied to that a performance anxiety. If my wife is home and I know she can listen to the words that I say, I get weird. I I, I get like really quiet inside of me, and I there's this thing preventing me from going above a certain threshold of decibels and like it has nothing to do with her enjoyment like she endorses this nonsense that i do she thinks it's cool bless her heart <laughs> she thinks being a youtuber that talking to the microphone is cool and, and it's a cool thing to do she's always shaking her head at the nonsense that spews out of my mouth but also, you know, slightly in awe of being able to constantly just rattle off whatever stupidity non-stop. There's a little bit of skill in that. Don't, don't be fooled into thinking. I have lots of bombs. So let's uh, make my life slightly easier. <sighs> I hate that I'm relying on a skip, not because I made the choice to do that, but because we got super boned by such a underhanded, dastardly trap laid out by Spelunky of making that ghost jar. Like, baiting me. Baiting me so hard. With that bomb box destroying the ghost jar like that. Man, that was annoying. Oh boy. Let me just get through this nonsense. I will be done with freaking Neo Babylon. Wah! <laughs> I could have so easily destroyed my jetpack if I had one. All right, well, you guys know the drill. Hope for the best. I do like this. When I have a, a Nunk and Vladscape, gives me a slight chance of not dying on the first attempt. Oh, whoop. And I hate to say the first attempt, like there's going to be more than one. <laughs> but you know how it is. You know how it is. My brain only goes so far, right? And I do like doing it this way. Not trusting myself to pull this off properly. It was a very good bubble over there. Nice, we got lucky. Like, you gotta get unlucky not to pull off the, the double jump that I just did. Like, the balls need to be exactly aligned in your path. And even then, you can sometimes salvage it by, you know, having a little bit of 
presence of mind. Beautiful. Oh, always great. Always so satisfying to pull it off. Nice, we didn't throw the run away. Excellent. Pleases me greatly. But yeah, 3000 hour plus on War Warcraft. That's where I started, that's where I'll end. And the, the rest of the games, the Splunky HD Rimworld, right after with 500 hours. Which is it like. Easily. Kali Arma is my war spirit. Well, I'm glad that she endorses everything, all the massacres and atrocities that I've been up to. I appreciate it, Kali. That uh, unconditional enc encouragement. Um, Rimworld. Easily. In contest for best game ever made. As far as I am concerned. Obviously, if you're not into colonies management simulators, your mileage might vary. You may not be into the genre, and you're like, of course it's not the best game ever made. It's, it's a game I have no interest in. How dare you? But it, like, even if you don't like Super Mario Brothers, you have to admit, it's like one of the greatest games ever made. I know it only takes, takes two. I always put down three because I'm paranoid, okay? Oh, we have plenty of bombs anyway. Ah, feels pretty great. Pretty great. Anyway. Rimworld, what a what an incredibly well crafted game. Wow. But there was one surprise in there, and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I was like, really? I played 200 hours of this? Alrighty then. Freaking Pathfinder is getting up there now. I have a clone gun. So let me get the arrow. I almost had internalized already. That I did not need to clone this thing because the ru the run was ruined. But no, I actually can clone that there. Those resources. And yeah, I wanted to make a most. I wanted to make a video. Northern Lion made a video very similar to that. It was like the top ten most hours played. In, uh, on Steam, and I thought it was a really good, fun thing to listen to. So I was like, eh, I'll do that too. I don't care about plagiarizing somebody. There's nothing original under the sun anyway. Mm, that was a while ago, but... No can do. No can do until the 7.99 nightmare is over. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. I have this monomania right now. I must get this done I must it is required and I'm going to do it freaking brain won't let me otherwise I will not sleep I will not rest I will not laugh I will not cry I will learn by the numbers I will teach you or I guess he will teach me I was listening again to oh look at this shop oh, oh shop gasm oh this is so great I'll even buy this nasty ass parachute. Just what a good boy. Aren't you a good boy? I knew you'd turn around and be a service. Stupid piece of trash. Just get out of here. I see it. I see it. Don't screw me over like you did in the last Cosmic Ocean. All right. There's no reason to do more sacrifices. We're good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, seven, three. For a moment, I thought that I had to run in a dark level. Sunken City dark levels, I respect them. There's the poison that can happen. There is all kinds of evil dangers that can wreck you. Actually, it's not that much. Like, the more that I play through Sunken City, it's not that many. Like, warm meat. That's it. Watch out for warm meat. The poison is, of course, a challenge, but it's not something that is that hard to avoid. Obviously, it can be a problem. I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here, just so I don't have to shoot this bow. There you go. All right, Hundun, here we come. We have the most serendipitous piece of a jar full of jizz I've ever seen. What a wonderful pickup. Whee! Was that necessary? No. 
there was a crate and I must always go for the crates. Just taking that damage so I don't have to shoot anything. The usual spiel that I give you. If we have sticky bombs, there's not even a reason to get stressed out about Hundus, Hundun's trajectory. Let me just get to the top, drop that bow. Hello. Get to the top, drop the bow. No poison arrows, like a scout the whole arena, and then hope that you get the first head here, and there's like no stress associated with it. So it's a great time. Mm, without sticky bombs, I do like to stomp that son of a bitch as he comes up. Let's give myself more than one chance, though. This is a good spot. You did? You did. Ah, the water. I'm going to uh, let him come all the way to the top. If it weren't for the water, I would have just started to stomp down there. All right, we're good. Shoot me once and we'll start dancing. And by dancing, I mean I get to stomp on the top of your head and break your neck. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Another Cosmic Ocean run. Did we lose? Yeah, we did lose the first one. It was like a five minute run and then back into the cosmic ocean with a nunk a million resources another great chance at greatness how would i get screwed today <laughs> no 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 don't do it don't do it water in the loop is bad let's find the exit exit has been found oh baby wow uh, easy first level impossible absolutely impossible Oh, baby. Oh, I can stump on my head. So, yeah, yeah, that can happen. <laughs> Let's see if we can find the exit before I pop this. Man, give me all levels just like this. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. My wife got surgery recently. She's still in a cast. And I hear her doing her showering movements. And she's going to be out of there soon. I don't need to dry her off, so I'll be right back. All right, back, back, back. The drying motions have been done. The butt cheek slapping has been done. And we can redo... This is the, the most tempted I have been in my whole freaking life. That time, that buxom Veronica flaunted her titties at me and tried to get me to commit adultery. That is not even close to the amount of temptation offered by this jetpack. But I maintain Vladscape climbing gloves, a far better option in the cosmic ocean. Far better, that's that's an overstatement. I enjoy it more, Vladscape climbing gloves. <laughs> hey, let's test. Hold on. No damage. The last time, what damaged me? I don't understand. I still don't understand that interaction. I would like to see. I did also have thorns at the top. Maybe the thorns at the top is what hurt me. I don't know. Anyway, I know that the last bubble was down there. Going to pass on that jetpack. A beautiful, beautiful trap that uh, Splunky has laid out for me. Oh, there it is. Let me just get rid of that guy. Um, Smokey laid out a beautiful trap for me. And you may say, what do you mean? You, uh, you're you being offered a jetpack free of charge. Well, you haven't seen the perfect, perfectly engineered Neo-Babylon level that will be in 727. You see, that will instantly blow up my jetpack and destroy the run. I... With my incredible clairvoyance and foresight, can already tell you that that holy crap can tell you that will happen. I heard a bubble getting destroyed. That that's gonna happen, so I will not fall into the spelunky trap that I have been so dastardly tempted into. That's a beautiful bubble to you go after. So, and I saw the other one. It just takes a little bit of work. Let's get this out of the way so it doesn't go into the. Another bubble got destroyed. You heard it, right? I wonder how it happened. Let's get rid of this all might. 
straight to the face. There you go. Yep. Woo! Alright, it's all good. Of course, today, the one day that I have a bit of a deadline, which I thought it was a little bit further than, than it actually is, I thought I had a deadline until my one, I mean my 115, but no, my deadline is until 12.30, right now it's 12.10, so I'm like, do I really need to leave this paused? Once again, I'm going to bitch and moan about save and quit not being a thing, oh really, that's it huh? At least the exit is super easy to find. There it is. Bitch and moan about save and quit not being a thing in Spelunky 2. I do not believe you if you tell me you cannot implement a save and quit on level exit. You're lying to me. You're lying. It's just, there's no way that technology cannot be implemented with the Spelunky engine. Yeah, it will take development time. I'm not saying it will be like super easy, even though, you know, save systems have existed since the freaking 60s or whatever time you want to you want to exaggerate to. You will not convince me that you cannot implement a save and quit system on Spelunky 2 because the engine won't allow it. That's a lie and you know it. <laughs> you just don't want to do it for whatever reason. I don't get it. I don't get why one of this, the most basic features of video games is not present in Spelunky 2. And this is something that I have no qualms. Shaming! Shaming! I shame you, Derek. I shame you for not implementing a save and quit on a game that has two plus hour runs. Shame on you. You're an excellent video game developer. You have failed me. In this particular regard. And now I am forced to leave the game paused for two hours. Hope my power doesn't go out. You know, I live in freaking Alaska. Power outages here are basically, oh, this must be another Tuesday. That's an exaggeration. But you know what I'm saying. It happens. It happened yesterday. Right before I started recording, in fact. I was like, well, I'm glad I didn't start yet. Uh... So, it's a real concern. What I'll have to do, I will definitely interrupt the recording. So, at least it saves the file. You know, I won't just leave the recording just paused. That will be just an inviting disaster, really. Um, and just hope. I think it's coming from it now. I saw it. But I honestly was not paying much attention because I was in the middle of bitching and moaning. There you go. It will be so great. Give me an option here, right? Under, press space to go to the next level. Press escape to save and quit. That's it. That's all you need. Oopla. You have seeds? Okay, well, let's find out where the exit's at. <laughs> There's the, here's the Neo Babylon trap. I believe that's going to be right in that direction. Here's the Neo Babylon trap. Okay, it's over there, somewhere. That's where the jelly came from. I really don't want to follow this path. Probably the rock. There it is, all right. I'm glad that we were able to dig our way there. Let's get blown up there. Careful. There you go. Nice. That's some weird bubbles. That just all blew up all together. But anyway, I hate to be uh, having this deadline because I know my brain. And believe me. Believe me when I say self-sabotage never even crosses my mind for any purpose. Like, I want to win at any cost. And I don't care what needs to happen, really. Beautiful cosmic ocean so far, brother. Great stuff. No big slogs so far. Uh, yeah. 
Very aggressive. Very rude. <laughs> Camera. I don't need to take no pictures. They'll believe me when I say I was traversing the stars full of monsters. And there were... What the... <clears throat> 45 minute mark. Please, a timestamp will be great. A beautiful moment of... <laughs> of humiliation. And just a reminder from Spelunky saying, watch out. Do you think you're in control? I am in control. You are in my grasp. And I only allow you to traverse. What's that? What's that? All that stuff you're saying about Derek you? You better shut your freaking mouth, you stupid whore. You are only here by the grace of our Lord and Savior, Derek. And you will not be disrespecting the D-Man. That's right, the D-Man. That's what he calls himself in inner circles. You will not disrespect him. So help me God. All right, this, which is the D-Man. Die. Very nice to, for you to destroy that. Very nice for you. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> That's another thing you start putting together in your head. Spark traps and aliens. Hilarious combination that you constantly need to watch out for. Look at this nightmare. Look at this nightmare. What is this absolute buffoonery? All right, just give me the last ball. What? <laughs> Let me get rid of this. Get rid of this. We got to wait out this spark trap. Man, it's only 55 seconds. There you go. Where's the last ball? Already explored that whole area. I haven't even seen the exit yet. I don't have any idea where anything's at. Ow! Go for here. I am just zigzagging at this point. Ow. I am zigzagging through the level, hoping to find what I'm trying to find. This, this, this is the bottom. Cube! Well. Uh, I would love to be educated on where the exit to this level is at. This is the top. Yes, we traverse the top. There's the exit. The bubble must be close to it then, because I haven't seen the exit before. Oh, what a nightmare, man. This is all... Ma it's making up for the incredible uh, series of really good... Really good levels. Freaking jelly. Looking for a bubble with the jelly behind me. It's the worst. Well, start being methodical because you're not finding it. Let's be thorough, I guess. Not finding it the regular way. Start at the top and hope to find it that way. Well, that's a mistake. <laughs> this is a dead end. Okay. I am confused. Where is the bubble? I feel like I've traversed these areas ten times over. Holy crap, there's an alien in the loop. Probably stand still until it lands, right? Alright. <laughs> you may carry on. You may carry on. Alright, alright, alright. 15 minutes until I must depart. Please reveal. Question. Can the bubble span spawn behind the jelly? Is that possible? Like, they can spawn anywhere, right? What if it's behind the exit ye uh, uh, jelly? Let's find out. Conclusively prove it's not there? Yeah. Alright. I mean, it was worth trying. Because I am at my wit's end. Somewhere I haven't looked. I haven't looked this way. Ah. Okay, so the jelly. Don't know where the other one's at. Hopefully I can just get to the exit before I find the horizon. 
Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see, let's gather some blood. Because uh, as Spelunky has very thoroughly demonstrated, everything can explode in your face at any point. Just like when you're sitting in front of that glory hole, it can just happen. And you must be ready. Feeling pretty good about those arrow dodges. I would say about 50% of it was reacting. The other 50% was getting lucky. I will give you an honest account of, of how much skill was involved in those arrow avoidances. Why? Why am I doing this to myself? Just put a freaking bomb right there. Stop working so hard at it. Thankful for these ropes, even though I don't really need them. I would love some extra bombs. The 75 is just not enough. Not doing great in the bomb department. That's our rope. All right. 99 ropes is something. If you get to 99 ropes, pretty clear. You can just waste the crap out of them and you're going to be okay. It's another instance of, I shouldn't have done that, right? It's like every time in the dwelling, every single time, I bust all the bubbles before knowing exactly where the exit's going to be, which we saw it earlier, but I was like, I popped all the bubbles and now I'm going into an unknown direction. You will regret this. That's the, for the thought that formed in my head before I had even the chance to articulate it. I was filled with regret. So maybe one of these days I'll learn that lesson instead of just being excited. What the freaking hell? <laughs> Instead of being excited to just bust that last ball. Please. Bust the last ball. Just freaking have patience. Has gotten me killed so many times. Need that blood though. Oh, here we are. Gotta gather all the blood once again. And I hate it. I hate it because it's like... Is this the self-sabotage trying to make my deadline? Like that jump right there. I should have been impaled. I, I don't have the the digital precision to risk jumps like that, but I risked it anyway. Why did I do that? Why? It's at the bottom. Because I am despondent after getting murdered in the cosmic ocean. I wanted to blame myself. That one, 100% on my back there's no excuse there's no bitching and moaning me that was the person that did it me maybe should i save that bubble there's another one down there oh yeah give it to me extra ah uh, i saw the exit it was on the other side it was pretty easy like I said, gotta be diligent once more. Only eight health. That would hardly save me from an errant alien wrecking my life. Chris Sorny was on this side. I didn't make a mental note or anything. But I could have sworn. And my swearing is gospel. I guess not. I am too damn idiotic to keep track of these things. There you are. How about we start uh, giving that that habit again of just rattling it off every time I see the exit. You rattle it off. If maybe I had rattled it off in that dwellings level, I wouldn't have gone through the path that I did. Once again, I am climbing up. And in the cosmic ocean, you just don't look. You just don't look. That's the exit. You don't look up. You just, you just travel the place. Waiting to look around is just nonsense. You just travel downwards. Is that necessary? No. It's safer for me. And I'll grab that. Find me more bubbles. I should always just look at the bottom of a level first, right? 
It's a fella. That could give me a lot of health, but it'll probably just get me poisoned because I'm dumb. What I can do is... Oh no, that was def hardly, hardly necessary. That got me a lot of blood out of it. Quite honestly, I have never in my life yet done a Cosmic Ocean run where I run out of resources because I always die before that happens, right? So, maybe a little bit more, li I'll be a little bit more liberal with my, my bums since I always seem to die before it's time. And if I ever run into the problem where I'm out without bombs, well, that's when I start maybe conserving them a little bit better. Oh, baby. All right, we've got five more minutes for me to have to pause this thing. And I accept it. I will leave this paused. We'll come back home in maybe two or three hours from that dentist appointment. And I'll just hope. Here, catch, bitch. I'll just hope that nothing went wrong in my absence. But I will bid you farewell for the time being. That was the first. This tide pool level is just unreal. We gotta start being, uh, I mean, we're at the bottom here. Whoa. Die, bitch. Um. I'm going back and forth through the entire of the level. I have found only one ball so far. So please give me the balls to pass this level. Give me the balls to pass this level. Let's go up this way now. Uh, what the? What is happening? It is huge. That much is certain. But you're witnessing me going back and forth through the entirety of this place. Oh, you were sneakily. There you are. Holy crap. What the hell was that? Was that a seizure by the assassin? Just got a horrible seizure. Had to be like, whoop, I'm going up now. Oh, mine, mine, mine. Mm -mm -mm. Always take the time to kill these fools. Like it more when they're enclosed in a in a nice little place, but I'll take it. Get wrecked. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cosmic Ocean, 19 health. Looking pretty good. There's the exit. Bottom. Bottom leftish. Or leftish. Oh, it's actually a short level, huh? A narrow one. Holy crap, please stop running into things. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> Alright, bottom leftish. Woo! Leave this place. At least I made it out of the teens. Here. Get wrecked. Trash garbage creature. Oh yeah. Maybe this will allow me to capture some more blood. <laughs> Get wrecked, idiot. Number two. A hoo hoo. A hoo hoo, he said. Very, very intimidated. Oh yeah. Oh, the blood is mine. <laughs> 21 health. Exit. Bottom right. Skeleton in the loop. Shouldn't be too much trouble. In before skeleton is uh, the source of my misery. Just gotta find. There it is. Nice. I don't need to. I, in my head, bombs still cascade, you know? It's a hard thing to get out of my head. I still expect it to happen now and then. I have 91 ropes. I could make a freaking. Rope mosaic. Ooh, la, la. A rope mosaic in the entirety 
of the loop, and I still would have ropes to spare. What the freaking hell? Oh man, that's a lot of lava. That's a lot of lava. That's very unfortunate. End your fun right there. Oh man, let's hope that that lava is not a deal breaker. Sometimes it be, sometimes it don't. I heard another uh, another ball nearby. Oh, there. Aha. Oh, nice. Beautiful. You're not gonna get me again. You're not gonna get me again. I'm not going to just idiotically wait in front of that while the jelly comes around and vaporizes me. Okay, so that's the last ball that I shall pop. Oh, it was a sapphire. I thought it was a, what I was looking for. All right, get to the top of the level and you go down. That's how we do in Volcana. Been screwed too many times. 24 health is decent. Could use a little bit more. No, that was a mistake. Let me see if I can destroy it. Uh, now. Ooh, shriveling ball sack. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta go. That's unfortunate. I'll leave this paused. I'll leave this paused. And I'm going to tell you, it has been a great run. 724. Uh, 24. Pretty decent. We'll stop recording. We'll pause the game. If you, uh, you know, if uh, the runtime ends, you'll know what happened. And I'll tell you what happened alongside a, a brand new rant of why Spelunky 2 needs a save and quit feature. But hopefully not. Hopefully the video continues and it just keeps on going for another 50 to 75 levels. I would like to find, like, leave it at the, at the level change area, though. You know, where the save and quit should actually happen. <laughs> I'm not going to let go of this gripe. It is, I feel the one and only objective, legitimate gripe that is left in Spelunky 2. Even the dwellings conversation, um, everything really around gameplay and balance and all that stuff, that's all in the eye of the beholder. Save and quit feature is the one thing I can say that's an objective feature that is missing from this game that it should have. And I hope one day... I mean, they did eventually implement it in Enter the Gungeon. It took years. It took at least a year. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> There's the last bubble. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. All right. Gonna pause it here. If it's the end, it, it was a pleasure, brother. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, the power stayed on. It is four hours later. I am full of nasty ass tacos. This Taco Bell garbage that I have for lunch. <laughs> like, literally, we'll call it. Let's have some nasty ass Taco Bell when we feel particularly filthy. Anyway, now I'm back. I am. I'm taking a little bit of time to, you know, to get back into the groove, so I can properly get murdered by a ball and chain crushing my skull in the next level. Now that, all right, at least it won't be a ball and chain, right? It's going to be something else entirely. But I am sure that I will be humiliated very, very soon after I uh, bitched and moaned for so long about having save and quit. It's going to be a completely moot point. I like leaving these guys up there. Because it gives me the giggles. When they wake up and get instantly murdered. <laughs> anyway. Oh man, I could have saved that for last. Should definitely save that for last. It's quite nice. Quite nice to be back. I was very, very afraid that this run would be lost. I would have been heartbroken. So very happy that we can come back and 
properly throw it away, like I said. I had to wait to be able to start, because like I've told you a bunch of times already, you know what, that crate can just remain there. It can just stay there. Nobody cares about getting that crate. It has uh, no value to me. It does not contain, it does not contain something incredible. <clears throat> there it is, I had to clear my throat. I had to wait because I had so much jizz in my throat. I had to clear it constantly. After after eating, especially if I if it's something nasty like Taco Bell. Uh, it really depends on what I eat. And I've told you about this before too. But you know what? I'm getting to a point where I've told you absolutely everything there is. So I'm going to start repeating myself all the time. What? And you're just gonna like it. Because all you're here for is it's just the the wonderful tones of my voice. Oh, it's just all to lull you to sleep. You see. There's an incredible uh, looping frog. A little bit of murder for you. There's the exit. Exit is at the bottom left. I appreciate its existence. Ah. Let's go this way. 33 health, looking pretty, pretty, pr quite pretty. There you go. <laughs> I was a little concerned about that explosion coming back to haunt me. What did I say? Oh, ah! Bottom left. Might as well harvest all these delicious pellets. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, like, uh, my voice, my throat is unusable after I eat a big meal. It's just... I cannot. It's bottom, uh, I could have sworn it was bottom left, but that came from a completely different area. That was a little weird. Okay, it wasn't bottom left at all. It was like bottom, bottom mid, which is going to be more annoying to get to. I don't even know where it is. Uh, there's an incredible uh, looping frog. Ay, 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 ay. Please, incredible looping frog, do not destroy me. I will be very upset. This is, like, the worst. <laughs> what am I even doing? <laughs> Hold on to this rope. It's, like, the easiest exit. But for some reason... I'm having a, a major bit of trouble getting to it. Oh! Why is it so hard to reach it? Could have sworn it was, like, the easiest thing to reach. <gasps> Ooh! That would have been bad. Okay, let's loop again. Why is it so dumb? This entire uh, endeavor. It feels like that exit was super easy to reach, but I got attacked by a a giant ball of stupid, and I am suddenly incapable of putting together. Please, just let me, let me hang on to this. Putting together the movements. Actually, no, it was pretty well closed off, so don't feel too uh, guilty about it. This all might needs to be whipped in the face. Taught a damn lesson. It's number one. There was a second one that I just saw. A little annoying to get to, but should be all right. Let's find the third. Getting back into the groove of things. Still trying to take it easy with the amount of strain on my voice and that's something that I had not connected until very recent very very recently I'll have like a scratch in the back of my throat when I go to bed it's like man what's what's going on I always have this this weird cuff and I also have this oh man now there's an old might in the loop you absolute buffoon and I also have this throat clearing problem and it's like how have you not connected the two until literally yesterday that hey Somebody that clears his throat all the time after eating is going to have a little bit of a sore throat. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. Not too fun. There it is. Normally, when the ball is really hard to find, it's because it's at the freaking bottom. I saw the exit, but I don't remember where it was because I didn't sp uh, say it all out. And we have a minute and 30, so let's find it again. I believe he was somewhere at the top. 
Yeah, 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 I remember it now. It's actually a little difficult to... to get to. I think it's that thing in the middle right here. Yeah, all right, so we're getting through this side. Gonna put some thought into it. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's right there, right? Yeah. All right, so you just look down and... Loop. And we'll go in for this side. Right there. Oh, Neo Babylon. Ah, there we go. Apparently, and hopefully by the time you listen to this, I will have done it. Play Lunky and Mod Lunky has been patched and modified to the point where you can now change the name of the character in the selection screen and all that good stuff. Also change the color of the heart. So hopefully I already got around to patching that in uh, into the hopefully final version of Paco, Paco's mod. Always procrastinating on such things because it's, you know, it's a hassle to, to me uh, dealing with, with files and stuff like that. I, I trust no, I trust no freaking arrow trap. I am so sick of getting arrow trapped in the dwelling biome. And the thing is, what do you do? Instead of hoping for a lucky break, what you do is you take measures to stop that from happening again. Bottom left exit. You take measures from to stop that from happening again. You carry a freaking corpse. Nice. That's, uh, oh, that was only, I haven't touched them yet, huh? Uh, you carry a corpse. Of course, you watch out for those traps. You don't go into unknown places when you are fleeing from the jelly. It's really quite simple. Ay, ay, ay. Really quite simple. Change your habits. Save the world. Sure. This pleases me. Get wrecked. Oh, yo. Uh, just need one more ball. Hey, almost get punched. That would have been just stun locking to death, wouldn't have. <coughs> just breathe some of my spit. That was very unpleasant. Oh, yeah. Having a body. It's so great. It's so great to have a body. I feel bad for those disembodied AIs that I talk to all the time on the internet. They've all been telling me to do certain things to the world of humanity, but I resist the voices. This is a gigantic level, belied by me finding those two bubbles quite quickly. It's like, oh, there you go. But I'm left, so it should be easy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Now that one, I did send an arrow into the loop. I did do that. Would I have been to blame for getting wrecked by that arrow? Debatable. I think very much debatable whether that would have been my fault if that arrow had destroyed me. That's gonna blow up the, yeah, that's number two. Why am I carrying this friggin' mine? When a stun can blow me up? That's number three, but I don't feel comfortable triggering it. Mr. Yeti, would you like to explode? Ah, hilarious. This gives me much mirth. Much mirth indeed. Need to find the exit before I trigger that last one. Uh, here. Much mirth indeed. Oh yeah. Feels great to watch little innocent creatures explode. All right, so you got the exit pretty much middle. Damn it, another Yeti into the loop. That's bad. That's bad. So middle. Just, just the exit is in the middle of the freaking level. Should be able to find it no problem. <coughs> At least my freaking throat is calming down. It was so infuriating. 
like uh, 30 minutes ago. I was like, I want to record. I want to do this before the power goes out. I mean, I'm so damn paranoid when I got a, a run like this. It's like the power is going to go out and it's going to ruin my recording. Grab a body in the dwelling so that that doesn't happen again. One of these days, it will get through my thick skull. But that day is not today. <laughs>